Brooklyn Independent Television. At Coney Island, more than half a dozen business owners are fighting to remain on the boardwalk. Longtime businesses are being given the boot by Central Amusement International, the company leasing the property from the city. The evictions are part of their plan to overhaul the boardwalk, but as Sherry Carabin tells us, many of the owners are not going quietly. I got a nigger in my pocket! It may seem like a celebration, but in reality, many of those gathered outside Ruby's Bar and Grill on the boardwalk of Coney Island on November 13th were there to say goodbye. The longtime establishment is one of nine ordered to clear out by the operators of the new Luna Park. I mean, we've been here 36 years as a family, and the place has been here 76 years. So it's a lot of history in this place, and it's, uh, it's hard to let it go. Like the other businesses, Ruby's was supposed to vacate the property by November 15th. We had gotten a written extension actually till the 19th, although this is probably going to be the very last weekend that we're open for business. After this weekend, we probably won't be open for business again until such time as we're told we can reopen. In the meantime, he and seven other owners have enlisted the help of an attorney to fight the evictions. We're having people sign petitions to try and keep people here. I mean, you know, we, we think that the best way that we're going to be able to stay is if the public cries out. It was an emotional time for many who turned out at Ruby's. I hate to give it up. That's about the size of it. This is like home away from home. I grew up here. I've been coming here all my life. I come here with my father almost every weekend. We're here during the summer. How long have you been coming here? I've been here about six years. So you obviously don't want to see it go. Oh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's like a friend you come and visit on the weekends. You know, a mate that you come and have some beers with and have some fun, listen to some uh, great classic music. And it's really kind of a crossroads of Brooklyn. Last February, the Bloomberg administration entered into a 10-year lease with Zamperla USA's subsidiary, Central Amusement International, to develop just over six acres of land. This after the city bought the Astroland site, including the boardwalk space and an adjacent lot on Stillwell Avenue from developer Joe Sitt. CAI has used part of the land to open the 19-ride Luna Park in May and plans to open a scream zone at the Stillwell Avenue lot that would include two roller coasters. While some, like Coney Island USA founder and executive director Dick Ziggin, commend the Bloomberg administration for preserving the amusement area, they question whether more can't be done to help business owners on the boardwalk. The city did not do its due diligence if these people can't stay to work with people whose families have been here for decades to relocate them. Um, it's outrageous to think that any of these businesses which have kept the amusement park going have to get out before the four furniture stores on Surf Avenue, which are against the law in total violation of the old zoning and the new zoning, why are they still there? Shoot the Freak, Cha-Cha's Bar, The Grill House, and Paul's Daughter are also among those on the chopping block. But the owner of Paul's Daughter says she was more than willing to upgrade. In fact, she and some of the other owners submitted proposals to Zamperla USA saying just that. We were going to comply to anything. I had paid an artist to do a rendering of a modernized, beautiful new store. I, I really believe that the proposal that they asked us to put together in the middle of my busy season in August was a sham. And that's the thing that, that is really sad. When I was young, my parents took us here, and now I am here with my granddaughter. And very, very, very sad that it's closing. However, there are some survivors, including Nathan's famous boardwalk stand, the beach shop, and the Lola Star Souvenir Boutique. Valerio Ferrari, president of Central Amusement International, says although some are upset, quote, CAI will invest millions in a resurgent boardwalk featuring world-class entertainment, dining, nightlife, and retail options that will draw visitors from near and far 365 days a year. CAI will include in the boardwalk current and new tenants who are best able to fulfill this vision, end quote. The corner street is officially named Ruby Jacobs Way, 
How can you remove rubies? Sentiments that are shared by so many along this historic boardwalk. In Coney Island, this is Sherry Carabin reporting for Brooklyn Review. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.